Hey there guys and gals, and welcome to part 2 of Let's Play Fatal Frame 1, Project Zero One. 1. And I noticed that there's a couple of research notes that I didn't read. So, I'm not going to read them, They're, they may be too long. Blah blah blah. You can pause and read these, I'm not going to read them. Earthquake. Okay then. September 11th. Rope in the photo. September 10th. What the hell? Uh huh. Oh! Interesting. Thanks. Uh, I think that's Kanji for numbers. There was also deaths as well. Uh, Junsei Takamine. Okay. Tomo Hirasaka and Koji Ogata. Nice. Okay then. Okay, so let's continue. Uh, we got the hand mirror in the last part, so let's go back and put that back where it belongs. Spooky! Spooky hallway. Dead ass. <laughs> okay, let's keep on going. It also turns out, I think, in the introduction, there is a hidden ghost somewhere around here. Uh, which is why the filament was going blue. Uh, I didn't find it. I didn't actually realize that there was a ghost there. Never actually found it before. <laughs> I've not played this game to completion like that. Hi. Man in the closet. Well, I don't really care. Hey, wanna come out of the closet, buddy? It's okay. Well, that's kind of rude. Come on. Come out of the closet. Come on. Come on, it's okay. It's okay. Come out of the closet. Come on. Come on. Very well then. Very well then. Uh, I think I should mention that there is a Himuro Mansion in Japan. Uh, this is based off the old folk tale that's... Oh, hello. No, don't disappear, I wanted the picture. Uh, this is this game is based off the old uh, story that uh, well that there was a strangling ritual and that the keeper of the house well the head of the household killed everyone who was there because the final ritual failed. Woman in kimono. Uh. Basically, I won't ruin it because the entire folk tale is kind of covered in this, so I'm not going to bother. How did he put that in there? It's that person I just saw. That's the editor, Mr. Ogata. The ropes. Ogata-san. Small key, brass key, oh hello. Damn it! Run, oh hero. And this is a boss battle. Technically. Okay, that slows them down. And. That was. Oh. Hi. Hi, friendly. Don't go in the wall. You fucking dish. The ropes. Oh, for fuck's sake, come on, I'm not coming to- oh! 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 Oh, you fucking idiot. The ropes, the ropes, the ropes. Fuck you and your ropes. Ah. Don't you do that. Nope. 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 Oh, I fucking hate you, Ogata-san. I got you, you fucking bastard! Oh lord, no, no, no! No! 
Don't die now. Don't die now. Herbal medicine, go! Run away! Run away! Run away! Run away! Oh, he's behind me now. Oh, he's pissed. He is pissed. Uh. Holy fuck, I got him! Awesome! The girl in the white kimono. That little wisp means that we have killed him and uh, captured him once and for all. So there we go. We got a spirit stone. Uh, let's look at the camera. Loaded with that. Bonus functions. Pressure. Slow. C. Paralyze and search. Okay. Search might actually be good. Um, special functions. Oh. Um, range, speed, max value. Um, let's put a stone in that. Oh, that uses points, doesn't it? Oh, okay. Use my points there, points there. And that's all for now. What are the stones used for then? I don't fucking... Let's just continue. No time to be bogged down with that. Okay, that brass key should work on the door that was locked. That's fixed camera angles. Oh, I love an old horror game with fixed camera angles. Some people really hate it, but I just love it. I love it. It's, it. It makes it feel so much better. I love also how in the Fatal Frame series that the doors are used as the loading screens. I mean, that's amazingly funny. Like, they wait until it's processed and then they open the door. That's just funny as hell. Okay. Let's go. Padlock, use the brass key, it's unlocked. We can now enter. And, ooh, there's stuff here. Old book, charcoals. Yeah, charcoal. <laughs> Research scrap. The secret rituals of the Himuro family. I'm not going to read it. It's too long. You can read it. Just pause. I'll just skim read. <laughs> Oral history. It's basically a rundown of the uh, story of the Hermoro Mansion. Well, the story of the ritual of the Hermoro Mansion. Uh, can I have that, please? Thanks. Herbal medicine, just what I wanted. Uh, out here is a balcony and an item. Can I have that item? Oh, hello, Mr. Um, Samurai. Herbal medicine. And Samurai disappeared. Alright then. Ah, what a lovely looking tree. It's lovely and dead. Obviously we're going out there soon. Uh, search around a bit more. Oh, hello, what's that? Something reflecting. Oh, stone mirror! Awesome! That means if I die, then I get to go again. And if all of my life is deplenished, it replenishes. Well, if all my life depletes, it replenishes. Audio tape. Red tape one. Oops. Eh, listen to it. Why not? September 10th, 10.20 a.m. We discovered some disturbing photos in a chest of drawers. Could these be the folklorist children mentioned in Koji's notes? The photo is quite old, and shows some kids playing tag. In the corner of the photo, there's a faint image of a young girl in a white kimono. Her finger is pointed this way, and her eyes look as if she's making some silent accusation. Okay then, that's the little girl ghost that we've seen. 
that she's talking about. Uh, pieces of paper, August 20th. It seems a folklorist named Ryozo Munakata was studying about the various rituals passed down at Himuro Mansion. He supposedly left a book of research, but I can't find it anywhere. I wonder if there's a copy in the library somewhere. August 30th. I still can't find that book. I'll have the I'll have Koji Ogata from the editing department do a search for it. I doubt he'll be able to find it though. Uh, Ryozo Munakata was the young man who helped Sai and Yai Kurosawa escape from Fatal Frame 2. Uh, I want to save. I want to save. I I want to save. I don't know what the fuck my oh fuck no. I just don't know what the fuck will happen next, because the next ghost that we encounter, I hate him. I hate him with a passion. Okay, let's go. Uh, over here. Through here. And that one's boarded up, so we go here. Oh, hello. There's a closet here. Oh, type 37 film. Stronger type of folk. You bitch. Okay, another wisp. So she also succumbed to the strangling ritual curse. August 27th. The more I find out about the Himuro Mansion, the creepier it gets. I'm sure it's the perfect subject matter for Mr. Takamine's next book. But to be perfectly honest, I don't like this assignment one bit. It gives me a bad feeling. There's no way I want to go to that mansion. But it's my job, right? I guess I'll have to go. And I wouldn't want to waste the chance to work with Mr. Takamine because, just because of a little bit of uneasiness either. It doesn't help I have this sixth sense for the supernatural either. There's such a thing as knowing too much sometimes. So she was able to see the ghosts too. Just, oh fuck. Just like Mafuyu and Miku. They have six they have the sixth sense too. A lot of these doors are locked, become unlocked later. Another mirror that would show only our reflection. Here we go with the next battle. Hey, Mafuyu? Mafuyu? Fucking hell, how the fuck? She runs like she's constipated. The noise filter, oh my god, the noise filter. Oh my god, I hate that guy. I hate that guy, I hate that guy, I hate that guy, I hate that guy. I hate that guy. Hate that guy. He is so fucking weird. I don't have... Oh, Mother Hubbard. I do not have... Fuck off. Do not have... I really hate this ghost. One more, one more, one more hit! Oh my god. Yeah, fuck you. Fuck you, pal. I don't have your daughter. <sighs> okay. The hallway walls are painted with blood. Maybe the ghosts with the long arms did it. There is only one ghost with long arms. Translation error. Which I really... Oh, hello. Hello. Small piece of paper in the crevice. I think I can reach it. 
Old news article. On the night of the 3rd, the police received a report that four children failed to return home after 9pm. There is an old superstition in the surrounding villages about children being snatched away by ghosts, and some villagers indeed suspect that that is what happened to the four kids. So, the guy with the long arms could have stolen the kids away. Nice. Uh, oh fuck, what's in there? Where are we? Um, this is the northernmost area, I think that is the hall. The Great Hall. No, it's not! Okay, awesome. I don't have to be afraid of that then. Just keep on looking around. I actually want to go into the Great Hall, even though it's fucking going to be scary as hell. There are buttons with characters. The device must open the door. There's an engraving underneath, but it's gouged. Can only read some. I can just barely make it out. The Shinto ritual, strangling, and held on the day of. From the gouged wor outwards. I believe these are backwards, so I think 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. I think that's how it goes, I'm not too sure. It's been a little while since I've played this. Okay, let's go in here and get the shit scared out of us again. <sighs> I don't wanna... September 10th, 8pm. I clearly saw the image of a woman in front of the mirror near the entrance. She had long hair and a white kimono. There were ropes tied to her arms and legs, and she dragged them along when she walked. I think I heard Koji's talk about something like that, too. There's something very wrong about this mansion. Uh, I don't wanna... I don't wanna... I don't wanna... Oh my god... I don't like this place. Oh, hello. I like that, though. I'll take that. Fucking take that. Oh, hurry, we're at the end. Okay. This is not good, though. Oh, an item. Something reflecting in the dark. Sacred water. Something is wrapped around the handle. It won't move. It looks like hair. Fuck. Ah! 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 No! Ah! She's fast. Oh my god, look at her. Look at her. What? Well, no you don't, bitch. <laughs> oh fuck. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. Where? Oh, there she is. Hi. She's about to attack. Got ya, bitch. Okay, that wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. And there's more of her, as well as the long-armed man. Fun. Oh. This game is a load of fun. Oh, keep on going that way. <sighs> okay, now we go in here. Uh, something around here. Uh, I want to check this thing out first. Old oh, scroll. Strangling ritual. On the 13th day of the 12th month, a maiden cut from off from the outside world for 3,669 3, days shall be torn apart to provide power to the rope. Uh, so it was day and month, I think it was. Put the old document in my file. Oh, hello. Tomo! Bye, Tomo. Uh, box. 
books. Red notebook scrap. September 11th, 6.30 a.m. I saw that woman in the white kimono again. She's trying to tell me something. She knows I have a special sense for ghostly things. The woman's name is... Kyrie. So it's Kyrie, huh? I shouldn't get any closer than this. I don't want to get any closer. I'm scared. How do you think I feel? We need to take a picture of that door. Something is reflecting. Spirit stone. Awesome. I forget what the fuck those are for, but I'll figure it out. There's a talisman there. Some other place is shown. It's a storeroom. Okay. Um... I think through here is... A rubble room. A room of rubble. Yep. A room of rubble. Herbal medicine on the floor. Uh, I'll use that save point soon. Old scroll on the ground. Five stones document. Give thanks to the five gods protection. Place the stone representing the five mirrors in the correct location. We can't do anything here now, so... Black notebook... Uh, black notebook scrap. September 13th, 9.30 a.m. We found Ogata's body. His head, hands, and feet were strangled off. What happened to him in, is just like the strange deaths that occurred here long ago. There was a photo of Ogata near him. In it, there was something that looked like ropes around his neck, arm, and l arms, and legs. I wonder what it... What it I wonder if it has anything to do with the rope shrine maidens in the legends around here. The girls that had ropes tied to their neck, arms, and legs, too. September 13th, 12.10pm. Tomo is acting strangely. She's been mumbling nonsense all morning. Something about ropes and mirrors. I can't blame her for going to pieces, though, after seeing what happened to Ogata. Nice. I guess that was Takamine's notebook. I will not do that just yet. I want to solve the puzzle and something else. I just want to unlock that door. I want to get the talisman off it, so yeah. I'm pretty sure we're safe for now. Pretty sure we're okay for just now, like, from ghosts and things. I really hope. <laughs> Okay, underneath it, held on the day of, so one, three, one, two. Awesome! I was right! Alright, storeroom. Let's go. Oh, hello, little nose picker. Girl pointing. Nice to know. <laughs> but we'll run out the door. Powerful presence in the back of the room. You mean the ghost that we need to fell? Oh fuck, the seductress. And there goes the talisman. Ghost sense has disappeared. Something inside the box, a spirit stone. Climb this ladder, which takes 11 seconds in total. Because she is so fucking slow. Can't blame her though, that is a very tight leather skirt she has on. Uh, nothing in here except from this. Spirit stone again. What the fuck are the spirit stones for, may I ask? I mean, in the, pr in the older one, no, in the newer ones, not in the older ones, this is the oldest one. In the newer ones, the spirit stones are used to power up the camera. I don't know what the spirit stones are used for here. I forget, I might have to look that up. Something in the shelf, herbal medicine. Anything in this shelf? Sometimes is, sometimes isn't. Nope. I guess not. Okay then. I suppose I'm leaving. Alright, so I guess we might as well call this a part. Better get back to the uh, save point and finish. Oh god. What have I let myself in for? I mean, I played all three of these games, like, 
one after the other, and then I had terrible nightmare. I don't know why the fuck I'm playing these again. <laughs> but anyway. Can I get filmed? Nope. Okay then. Save the game. Okay, so thanks for watching part two of Let's Play Project Zero or Fiddle Frame One. And stay tuned for part three where we're gonna find out what exactly is outside in the courtyard. Okay, so peace out. Bye! Get a fuck over here. Boom, you did. Zero shot, awesome. Oh, okay, so they... No shit, Mithu, you have a cookie.